plastic surgery if it is to improve the quality of life if it uh, make the wife uh, more admirable in the in the eyes of uh, uh, his wife of uh, her husband or if it is actually improve the matrimonial relationship between the couple then that is uh, wonderful and that is uh, really acceptable uh, but it should not be really stem from deception you know i just try to to look very young while in fact uh, you know i am quite old and so on so if uh, intention of deception is there is accompanying a plastic surgery then that is really not admirable thing is to be done but if it is just you want to look uh beautiful i mean more beautiful or acceptable or if i look uh, healthier and um, uh, more appealing you know if i am married or if i am uh, just carrying on with my life i don't see any problem with that as to plastic surgery you have two different levels of answer among scholars um in fact the first principle in islam is that we should not change the creation of god when there is something which is done like this we have to respect it as it is done our body our shape the way we appear this is something which is the main principle now when you have something which is uh, after an accident after something which is changing your own uh, appearance here the great majority of the scholars would say Yes, it's possible because it will help you to live your life and to get your psychological balanced uh, 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 personality. So this is something which is accepted. Now, as to plastic surgeon, when it's just because you don't like yourself, because you don't like your appearance, here there is a question of necessity. The great majority of scholars would say, no, don't do that because you are changing the creation. You are not. So you have to cope with your own appearance. So don't change it now. It's up also to everyone when it becomes something which is psychologically speaking, it's, it's really difficult to struggle with this. And then if really it's not uh, possible, it's unbearable to, to take the, the decision. It's a question of personal choice. Uh, knowing that the scholars here are quite clear on the fact that uh, only for you to change your appearance it's not a, 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 a reason to come to this so the the promotion of plastic surgery will not be something that the, the muslim scholars are going to promote no on on that one no now it's something which is also personal that you have to assess in every single case but just to look more beautiful it's not that's something that you will find promoted among the scholars i think that uh, looking for uh Beauty is not a sin. Um, and lo looking for making the human being uh, in a better appearance and so on cannot be a sin. The other view is that he is changing the creation of God. He is changing the creation of God, not the creation, but the physical situation according to the knowledge which is given to him by God and according to the facilities which are given to him by God or to her. So I don't think that this, it is like uh, curing any disease. The prophets say that uh, every disease has a cure and we should look for the cure. And we should try to get out of, of the disease and uh, restore health. So I believe that uh, beauty is uh, no exception, that uh, some parts of the body may be deformed for any reason um, during pregnancy or during delivery or anything, may something happen or for any physical uh, inherited feature. Um, and if it can be changed to have a better uh, appearance, why not? Uh, who can uh, forbid this on the grounds of changing the creation of God? But we are uh, not changing. It is just remodeling something which within the framework of God 
Plastic surgery is a really difficult issue because, again, it's seen as something that's to do with cosmetic enhancement and not really what humanity is about. But I would argue under the general title of medical ethics and improvement of a quality of life, technically speaking, are we in a position to say no? I'm not sure that we are. Um, I think those doctors, Muslim doctors or Muslim plastic surgeons, who feel that they would not wish to perform certain types of plastic surgery because it is purely cosmetic and not enhancing anybody's quality of life in any real way, they would find it very difficult to make that case in contemporary society. And what religious resources they would use, I'm not sure. And I think it's one of those areas you really have to go along with the courage of your own convictions that what you're doing is performing a service and that it's not somehow compromising your inner belief. If it is compromising, then I think you're perfectly entitled to say no.